At this year's Canva Create, I got to be a part of something wild, a musical performance called Please Add the Wedigates. It was a musical about product features, and they were all based on comments that were submitted by Canva's community. We're talking dancers, a full choir, a marching band, and it was all written by the ridiculously talented Tom McGovern. It even featured a surprise guest appearance from Jessica Hish, the incredible lettering artist, author, and illustrator. And if you haven't seen the full thing yet, I've linked to the video in the description here so that you can check it out. Now, after all that, I knew I wanted to do more than just post a video or a few photos. I wanted to take people into the experience of what it was like to be in the midst of all of that behind the scenes. So I did what any Canva-holic with a story to tell would do, and I created a Canva presentation. But I was using all of Canva's bells and whistles, like adding audio, animations, transitions, and a whole lot more to make it fun and engaging. So without further ado, let's break it down and I'll show you how I created this presentation in Canva. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to Canva's homepage and we're gonna click on presentation. So now we're in the Canva editor and I knew that I wanted it to have kind of a scrapbook collage type of a vibe. So I'm just gonna search here for scrapbook and this is the one that I decided to use right here. So let's start customizing this template and I'm gonna say Canva create my uncharted journey. Uncharted was the theme of this year's Canva create. So I really like that we have all of these cool little cutouts here, but they're not very relevant to me or my experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling in photos of what happened during the week of Canva create. So here's a photo of me and Tom, and I'm gonna use the background remover on this one here. And now we can crop this. And I wanted to have like that cutout look, kind of like this little blimp right here with the white outline. So I'm gonna add a white outline here by going up to edit. And then we're gonna go over to shadows. And right here I'll choose outline. So I can change the size of this outline and then I can change the color of this and we'll just make that white. And I'll take a couple other photos and throw those in here as well. Okay, so now that I have all my photos in, I wanna add in some music so that it'll kind of set the tone, the vibe for this presentation. So I'm gonna go over here to the object panel and we'll go to elements and I'm gonna search for thousand miles. That's the song that I want, but I only want it on this first slide. So I'm gonna change the view so that I can see the page thumbnails. So I'll click right here and I'm gonna drag this song just to this first slide here. And you can see that it's only set to play for this first one and not on any of the other slides in our presentation. And I really want that iconic kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. I just double clicked on that audio track here and then I can move things around. Okay, and that's pretty good, but I probably want to bring the volume down a little bit so it's not so jarring when people hit play. So I'm going to have that selected and go up here to the top toolbar, click on volume, and I'm gonna bring it down to about 50%. All right, so now it's time to add in a little animation. So I'm just gonna select the background here and we'll go up to our top toolbar and click on animate. And I could choose Magic Animate so that Campbell will automatically animate all of the pages in whatever style of my choice, or I can select the exact animation that I want to happen. And if you just hover over any one of these, then you'll get kind of like a preview of what it will look like. So I'm just gonna go with Rise for right now, but I only want that to happen on entering. I don't want it to do both entering and exiting. Of course, there's more options right here. So if you're on Canva Pro, then you'll have a little bit more flexibility. If you wanna try Canva Pro, then there's a link in the description so you can try it out for free for 30 days. Okay, so now when we go into present mode, it's gonna look like this. For this next slide, I wanted to show me flying from the East Coast to the West Coast. So I'm gonna go to elements and this time I'm going to search for airplane and I want to have me sitting on top of the airplane but I don't have a picture of me sitting so I'm just going to search for someone who is sitting we'll bring this one in right here that looks pretty good and obviously that's not my face so I need to change that and we'll remove the background on this here and the goal of it is to just kind of be funny so I'm not actually too concerned about it lining up perfectly it's just supposed to be 
kind of silly. So now that I have all my elements here, I'm gonna click and drag to select all three of these elements, my face, the guy sitting, and the airplane. And I'm gonna group them together. I'll just hit Command G, or you can just right click and go to group right here. So I'm gonna bring this all the way over here. So it's kind of barely on the frame. And then I'm gonna go up here to animate. And we're gonna create an animation right here. So this is gonna be a custom animation. And we're just gonna click and drag our element from one side of the screen to the other. So I'm actually gonna zoom out to make sure that I get this animation just right. And you'll notice that there's gonna be a little purple line that's following behind. And it's just tracking our animation. So there I am flying across the country. It's a little bit choppy, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix the movement style by changing it from original to smooth. And then we can also adjust the speed if we want to. So I actually think steady looks better. So that looks pretty good to me. And then when we're ready, we'll just click on done. And then I also wanna have an audio track on this one, something that feels fun, a little bit like Hollywood. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a music track for that as well. Okay, so our presentation is coming together nicely, and now I wanna add in some of the videos that were taken at rehearsals. So first I'm gonna add in a Polaroid frame by going over to Elements. We'll search for Polaroid and we'll go to Frames. And I want this horizontal one right here. So I'm just gonna pull that into our design and resize it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the video that I uploaded here and we'll just click and drag and pull that in. Okay, so that slide's looking pretty good. And now I wanna add in a transition from this slide to the next slide. And I really like using flow when there's scrapbook stuff because it looks like the papers are kind of just flying around. So we're gonna go down here to this slide. And if we hover in between, you'll see this little add transition button. So we're gonna click on that and then I'm looking for flow right here. So you get a little preview of what that's gonna look like. Boom, everything just kind of floats to the left. Okay, so the presentation is done. And now how do we share it with people? We can either download this as a PDF or a PowerPoint, but I want people to be able to view it from anywhere. And so I'm going to share this as a public view link so that they could view it from any device. So we're gonna go up here to share and we'll click on public view link. You can see it's already live because I've set one up here and then it'll create a public view link for you. And then all you have to do is copy that. So when I created a LinkedIn post, I gave a little description of the presentation of what it was like being a part of the performance. And then I used this link and pasted that into my LinkedIn post so that when people clicked on it, they were brought to this presentation right here. The other great thing about public view links is that you can actually see the analytics and the insights of how people are engaging with your presentation. So if I go up here to this toolbar, and click on analytics, then I can see that there have been 150 total unique visitors. But if I want a little bit more information, then I can click right here and I can see the type of device that they were viewing things from and I can also see their location. So people from Spain, Ireland, Canada, the US, Australia have viewed this presentation. And then I can see the average time that they spent on this design is about two minutes and six seconds. And then I can even see the top performing pages. So for whatever reason, people were more interested in this particular shot of the dress rehearsal where you could see them sneaking me in behind the choir for that performance. So insights are a great way for you to know how your presentation is landing with people. Boring slideshows are a thing of the past. If you want to create presentations that actually make people feel something, then Canva presentations are a great way to do that. And if you wanna check out this entire presentation, I've left a link in the description for you to check out. Or if you just wanna try this template out for yourself, then you can find that in the description as well. Let me know if you have any questions by dropping a comment. And if you like content like this, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.